Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I'm going to do a, a little bit of a look around on this mower someone's given me to service up. I just wanted to do a quick update because I sold the uh, the green Qualcast mower. I sold it for a, a hundred pounds. I got exactly a hundred pound, which is eighty pounds profit. Now I had loads of offers for about seventy or eighty, but I held out. And it was uh, I think it had over five hundred views on Facebook Marketplace before it eventually sold, but it did eventually sell for a hundred pound and eighty pounds profit. Great sale on that. Um, you might remember back probably about a year ago, I did a service on a Tecumseh a red. Um, MTD to come see engine lawnmower for a friend of mine. Well, his next door neighbour wants his lawnmower sorting out. He's giving me this, which is a real mess. It's horrible plastic deck, and all the wheels are bent. And I've told him I can't really do anything with the wheels, but I said it runs and dies, so it's probably just a uh, case once again. I just do it die from a gasket. Before I start this up, I thought I'd just um, get my camera out. I'll just film it and we'll just see what we get because he said it starts and runs and dies so probably a really good um, chance of it wanting the carb serviced looks like it's never had anything done to it it's a real mess I mean look at this under here it's like I ain't even bored I'm going to tip it up I'm going to take everything out of it it's a real mess so I'm going to uh, just show you what he's getting and then do a quick service on this and I've kind of got a bit of a rule with stuff like this now I spend sort of 20 minutes and if I'm still faffing about after then I'm not really going to charge him a right lot of money I'm going to give him it straight back because I used to spend sort of a whole weekend trying to clean these things up and you know I look for parts and try and sort of do someone a favour but I'm not I've got all the bits to do this so I'm going to try it see if it runs uh, and I'll probably just do the carb and service this up I'm not going to spend any more than an hour doing it and I'm going to charge him probably about 35 40 pounds for doing it so I'll just um, put this on a tripod and let's just see if this more actually starts Right, it's actually cold today. The last few days it's been absolutely boiling. I think it was about 33 degrees the other day, something stupid. But um, it's actually cold, like one day later, and it's thinking something like 17 degrees. Anyway, um, let's just try it. Let's just, I always like to see from a customer's point of view exactly what problems they're having before I start stripping things down. So. Yes, I'm not great. But before I do anything else, I'm just going to put another plug in this. Let's just see what we get. I do think it's going to be one of them classic signs of uh, just needing a good service. It's going to run all right. Didn't seem too hard to pull over. There seems to be loads of compression on there. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of filming a few uh, few videos but a few different things at the minute but just while I had this little mower in I thought I'll just quickly film this and just show you what I'm doing so you never know what this is going to do but this, you can tell that someone's bought this and they've used it for you know however long they've had it and never done anything with it you can, I mean, you can just tell by all the grass that's over it so Plug's really tight as well. Let's pull that out. That's black. It's not been running right. Load of dirt around here. You can see how much grass is in there. Luckily, I ain't got a drive on, but I think um, all these cooling fins are going to be filthy as well. But it's not really a big job, is it, to just do this and put a plug in it, put some oil in it, sharpen the blade up and do this diaphragm. I can probably do all this in under probably about 45 minutes, to be honest with you. And if I get £30, £40 for doing that, I'm not too bad. So, let's just put all that down on here. Let's just, uh, let's just give this another go. Right, let's just give this uh, another go. So all I've done is the plug. If it doesn't start after this, I'm going to clean all the outside and underneath of this off. And I'm going to uh, just service the carb and clean and tidy it all up. I'm sure it'll run after that. So 
that starts and runs, but I'm not too convinced that's just a plug. I think there's just a bit more luck, to be honest, than anything else. And we've got some fuel through. But what I wanted to show when I start this up is um, this exhaust is actually loose. So it starts and runs, it runs fairly even but it's really slow, so it could just be the springs I'll look under that air filter box, so let's just take a load of grass off this. So the jobs I've got to do on this is uh, change the plug, change the oil, do the carb, sharpen the blade, tidy it up and then I'm going to re-bolt this actual exhaust on and this exhaust guard here has actually come off at the front, can you see here, well it should go back on there, normally it's because this has snapped here, that actually uh, so it'll knock there, that should actually push over there and then you put a screw in, in here and I'm glad to see that that hasn't snapped off, it's actually just vibrated loose so that's good for me, so because it's in a mess I'm just going to get a pressure washer and just clean all the rubbish off this and then we'll just do a real quick service of this Briggs engine Right, so I'd normally just use a hose pipe and the thing is because this has got a plastic deck there's no chance of taking the paint off it as well so I might as well just use this pressure washer So that's a lot tidier, it's going to be a, a, a lot easier or better to work on so I say it's only going to be a quick vid this I'm just going to show you how I make a, myself an extra few quid here and there so I'll take that off, get a state of that there that's filthy so I'm going to have to clean that out again not a big job, just a bit of a pain um, I'm going to have to unbolt this carb all the springs are on though, see there, both springs are on it runs a bit slow so I'm just going to bend that tab forward a little bit I'm going to unbolt this actual tank here, take it off and we'll just quickly change this diaphragm and gasket in here Right, so So look what I've got here Get myself organised a bit just take that off I'll just come out now because it's just stopped raining so It's been raining all day and Here's a little tip for you, if you can't get in there Just take that petrol cap off like that On. This other 10 mil one off here, there should be one on here as well, which there is. Just take that out of there, and that's off. As I said, the main thing about that is it was running evenly but quite slow, so I'm going to take that off. I'll just unhook that there, take the whole thing out of the way, and it's great because I've got full access to this. Mind me, I'll just take this recoil cover off as well, and we'll just blow all around these cooling fins out. When you start and you think, oh, I'll just do a quick service. It's so quick anyway just to do these little mowers. You might as well, you might as well just kind of do it all while you're here. And I must remember as well to uh, sort this exhaust out as well because that's really loose. Don't often see that. Um, take that off and out of the way. That's actually not too bad at all, isn't it? Let's take you off there. Yeah, I was expecting that to look a lot worse in there, so governor flaps all alright, all these governor springs all working okay, just what worries me about these things is these little cooling fins in here just this sort of dirt getting in and all around here, but really it's not too bad at all is it, not compared to how the uh, the top of it looks with all this grass in here and everything else, it doesn't look too bad at all doesn't that, I'm quite happy with that um, I'll probably just clean that kill switch off as well, so I'm just going to strip this carb down, we'll put a diaphragm and gasket in it and bolt that back together and while I'm here I'll just clean all this out all this rubbish out of here, I'll just take it out and I'll just blast this off for about 20 seconds with a compressor I've just cleaned all that off, I've just actually cleaned the outside of this carb a bit with a compressor so I'm just going to take these strips out of here there's six in these I don't even need this drill, I should just get an old screwdriver but while I've got it all connected up I'll just use it and that's off and away no problem, let's take a look at this uh, actual diaphragm under here yeah it's pretty wrinkled up is that that's a telltale sign of it not running uh, very well as well if you get these gaskets 
quite wrinkled up. I don't know if you can see on there, it's quite a lot of a, uh, not wrinkled, but bulged up a lot. So I'm going to replace this die from a gasket set. Just tip these over and take all these uh, little screws out so I don't lose those. Keep them all together. Another little thing I'll mention as well is don't ever lose this spring here at the bottom. When you clean these out, these little carbs. In fact, I've got to mention this. There was a thing on, on, I don't know if it was on YouTube or Facebook the other day saying, oh, you don't bother doing a uh, diaphragm and gasket. You just get a whole new carb and put it on. I thought, well, what for the sake of two minutes? All you've got to do is take these off, these little filters here. I've shown before, this long pickup tube actually comes off. Get some carb spray, spray it all and blow it out. And I've said this a million times, but if you don't have an air compressor, just get some compressed air out of a can. You can get cans of compressed air. You can just take these off here and just make sure they're not all gunked up on the end with some carb spray, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to spray through all these holes, quickly blow this out, dry the top of that actual tank off there, and then just put a diaphragm and gasket on, which are probably about, I don't know, pound fifty, two pound each. I've got genuine diaphragm and gasket sets available at the website, which is repairlawmostforprofit.com. It's actually a, a shop on there now, and it sells genuine ones of these. If you buy the aftermarket ones, they last about 30 seconds if you look at the minute. They're really poor copies nowadays. So I'm going to get some carb spray and I'm going to clean around in there. I'm going to blow it out and put a diaphragm and gasket on. If you get yourself a tin of this stuff, this I mean this lasts years. I just use this basic STP stuff. Just give it a shake and just push it all through these holes here. Anyway, you can get in really. All the tips of these things, this little hole here where the actual pickup tube came off. Just spray it all out in there, get it in all these little gaps, spray these filters up. This is really a rough and ready version of doing it, but just make sure everything blows through and everything's uh, not got any gunk on it really. And then all I'm going to do, when I finish doing that, is I'm just going to make, make sure I can always put my finger just gently on the spring and just blow this whole thing through with my uh, compressor. So rather than replacing the whole carb, I mean apparently these uh, these carbs come with a gasket set. Apparently according to this guy who uh, commented, but I don't know if they do or not. I couldn't say if they did or not. I'm sure there's different ones, but I don't remember them coming with a gasket kit. But I just clean them out. It's, it's a two-minute job, isn't it? So when you push this pickup tube back in, it must click like that. Otherwise, it's not back in right. Make sure that this uh, little filter's on here and it's all clean. I probably shouldn't say this, but sometimes when I've had running problems before, I've actually taken this little filter off and I've run it without that filter. So if you're really, really struggling, it could be an option, especially if it's for, you know, just for your, uh, your own lawnmower and you're not selling it onto someone else. But if you're struggling, it's, uh, it's an option. So let's just dry this off and we'll get a diaphragm and gasket and sit that on there and rebuild this back up. Another little thing that I just forgot to mention, this chamber in here with these like four sections, see how much dirt's in there? Always remember to clean this out as well because this is where the fuel's sitting actually gets picked up and actually taken into the engine. So you can see there potentially how much dirt you could have, you know, either getting through or, but, but, you know, hitting the filter and stopping the fuel flow go through properly. So always clean that part out as well. That's nice and clean. Always just put your finger over that hole as well or drain the fuel out as well just to make sure that you're not going to get any fuel coming back and... Just uh, kind of smacking you in the face, so pop that on there. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the new diaphragm and gasket. Just pop them on. Just found these in the garage. Had these ones a while, I think. Um, we'll just pop that on. That's the thinner one. That's the diaphragm that goes on first. And then we'll just get this gasket as well. Put that on over the top. Pick this up, making sure you've got this spring on making sure that this tubes in properly and that all these uh, filters are nice and clean we'll just drop this in try and just drop it in as evenly as you can just kind of get the pickup tube through the hole and then line everything up as you go down you should just be able to push this down into position there if you look down from the top you can normally just have a quick look make sure you've just got all these uh, little holes just lined up nice and even and everything feels uh, and looks like it's nice and in line I just normally grab a screw, I just normally pop one in each corner just to get started. In fact, leave me a comment in the comments section of this video telling me whether you'd replace a diaphragm and gasket or whether you would uh, actually just buy a whole new carb. Let me know, leave us a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're considering doing that, just, just subscribe and tick the bell notification icon. That's on there as well. So I've got loads of videos, about 300 videos on here. A lot of them are kind of more in depth than this one as well. So I'd say this is just a like a mini quick service for someone just to get them up and running and see them through the summer. 
So this uh, exhaust's a bit unusual, as I said, it's, it's kind of loose, so all I've done really is just for my to bend these little tabs out of the way here, see these little tabs, bend them out of the way, I'm going to nip this back up, don't know why that's loose, you don't often see those come loose, I think that's why those tabs are really there, so I'll bend them back over in a second, it's just a case of tightening that up, and that's not going to move at all, so a little bit of a, an unusual one there, See how these little tabs go back over there. But that's tight, that's not going anywhere now. I'm really rushing against the weather, it's starting to uh, try and rain again. So it's poured down all day, so I've bolted this car back on, tighten this exhaust up. I'm just going to drop this uh, recoil cover back on, line everything up, and we'll just retest this mower. Just see if it runs a little bit better. As I said, I've just bent that tab forward a little bit. That'll just tighten this spring up a little bit that makes it run slightly quicker. So it's not a fix for something revving up and down, but it will speed up the actual engine speed of these mowers just slightly. Right, so I'm just going to try this mower now. I've got it all bolted back together. Put another little uh, bolt in this exhaust guard now, so that's nice and tight. Um, I'm hoping this is going to pick up to normal speed and actually run the correct speed now. Not put the air filter back on yet, I just need to clean that off, but should still run okay really without it. What I'm hoping it does is picks up to the right speed, so it's not still running too slow. That's fine, you probably heard that it started off slow like it did before. Maybe I'm getting comp uh, correct compression either with the exhaust being loose, so that's running, it picks up to a nice speed. I've just bent that tab forward ever so slightly more just to uh, give it a little bit more speed as well. So it's running okay. I'm going to clean the air filter off, clean the oil, and I probably should have done the blade at the beginning, but I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to send this back to him and uh, charge him £40 pounds for it, which I think is reasonable for sort of 45 minutes work, really, an hour's work. So let's get this air filter cleaned, let's get this oil done, let's get this blade done. We've got this air filter now, I've got that clean so I'll just pop that back on as well, that's great, I mean, as I said, I just wanted this to be a quick job really, so anything under an hour is not too bad, um, but I mean, I could leave the blade, I could leave the oil, but I might as well do it, I mean, I've got all my tools out, I'm out in the garden, it's going to take me 10 more minutes just to sharpen this blade up and do this oil, I'll just give this little plastic deck a bit of a clean up, just so when I return it, it looks like it's in uh, better condition as well. So that's that, that's that back on. Let's just have a look at this oil as well. Just had to undo that with my fingers and I couldn't get it undone, so just get this uh, flat headed screwdriver. And that's that. And just get that off there. Take this oil out and can test, just test this oil. Right, that's pretty black is that oil, so let's get me a little extractor pump and we'll just take that out and we'll change that as well. So I've just done the oil on this. I've sharpened the blade up as well, so it's had a full service really. This It's uh, certainly cleaner and tidy than it was when I got it, so might just fix that wheel trip up a little bit. So let's just, uh, before I return this to a customer, I always just like to leave this running for a little bit. I'll probably leave it running for a good five minutes off camera as well. Let's just uh, start this up, make sure it's still all running okay. Put the spark plug cap back on, look. <laughs> Might be a bit better now. Let's try that again. another mower nicely serviced ready to go back to its owner so pretty cheap and cheerful that one but um, good 40 pound for me I'm gonna take that I'm gonna ask him for 40 pound for that I don't think that's unreasonable really for a full service considering it didn't really work properly at all in the first place I'm gonna save them at least a couple of hundred of buying a new one so if you like what you see here I don't think I've been on this video yet have I? are you there let me have a look oh, 
it's raining you see I am here look it's like one of them Tom and Jerry cartoons where you don't actually see the person in it if you do like what you see please um, subscribe and um, leave us a comment and check out the website which is repair almost for profit Dot com. I actually have a playlist to all these Briggs and Stratton videos that I've done. If you look down in the, in the description of this video, you'll see it there. And I may have even linked to it during this video as well in the top right hand corner. I think that's right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. So I've just done the oil on this. I've sharpened the blade up as well. So it's had a full service, really. It's uh, certainly cleaner and tidy than it was when I got it. So I might just fix that wheel trim up a little bit. So let's just. Uh, before I return this to a customer, I always just like to leave this running for a little bit. I'll probably leave it running for a good five minutes off camera as well. Let's just um, start this up, make sure it's still all running okay. Put the spark plug cap back on, look. <laughs> Might be a bit better now. Let's try that again. another mower nicely serviced ready to go back to its owner so pretty cheap and cheerful that one but um, good 40 pound for me I'm going to take that I'm going to ask him for 40 pound for that I don't think that's unreasonable really for a full service considering it didn't really work properly at all in the first place I'm going to save him at least a couple of hundred of buying a new one so if you like what you see here I don't think I've been on this video yet have I? are you there let me have a look oh, it's raining you see I am here look it's like one of them Tom and Jerry cartoons where you don't actually see the person in it if you do like what you see, please um, subscribe and um, leave us a comment and check out the website which is repairlawnmowersforprofit.com. I actually have a playlist to all these Briggs and Stratton videos that I've done. If you look down in the, in the description of this video, you'll see it there. And I may have even linked to it during this video as well in the top right hand corner. I think that's right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.